Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, this is Nicholas Teo from uh, CMC Markets here in Singapore. Time now just before 10 a.m. in the morning here. Uh, we're seeing a nice rebound for a lot of the markets, uh, equity markets uh, for that matter. Uh, a bit of green here on the Chinese markets. Singapore is also up 1.3% or 4.5 points on the Singapore Free Index and, Ch uh, and Japan is also leading the way. Uh, now, this has come on the back of uh, an actually uh, 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 reasonably flat close where the New York markets were concerned. Uh, however, they didn't start this way. New York basically was down as much as 300 points on the Dow at one stage in time, uh, or more than 1.5%. Uh, you see this huge or this long tail here, it clearly suggests how volatile or the huge range that the market was trading last night. Uh, for example, if I were to just pull out a 15 minute chart, uh, you are seeing uh, a strong rebound in the afternoon session where the US markets or equities were concerned. Now, yeah. This is it, represented by this. It opened down very sharply, continued to tank. Uh, around midnight, just before European close, it start, things started to turn around. Uh, now, uh, while this reason uh, remains unknown, uh, it has been suggested in the market that a lot of uh, uh, companies were actively buying back shares because uh, reports have come out that suggest that the uh, buyback desks of some of the major brokerage houses were actually very active. Uh, and and it's not big surprise. It's not a big surprise also when you get corporates like Apple, for example, having a cash hoard of around 180 billion dollars, uh, and being able to uh, deploy that for cash buybacks. Uh, that certainly put a bit of a flaw where markets were concerned, uh, and uh, and with that uh, brought a bit of calmness, uh, where that calmness is being carried through over to Asia in this early morning trade. Now. Uh, another reason for that calmness, and I'm not sure how long this will remain so, is that the US or rather the Chinese uh, renminbi or the yuan uh, has seemed to uh, pull back slightly uh, after two days of actually steep uh, 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 weakness where the yuan is concerned. Uh, and this is goes on the back of a policy change uh, initiated or triggered uh, two days ago uh, that uh, saw the Chinese PBOC or Chinese authorities devaluing the yuan. Uh, followed by another move uh, uh, last night. Now that triggered a whole host of actually sell downs where corresponding currencies were concerned. In particular, the Singapore dollar, which offered one of the most liquid options for a trader to actually participate in. Uh, we see this huge move in the break up above the 139 level. This is the dollar sing, by the way, uh, and it broke through not just the 139, but it punched through the 140 and punched through the 141 on the consecutive days. So we are seeing a little bit of a pullback down here, a little bit of a calmness. And that's translated to obviously equity prices down here. Uh, finally, a thing that I want to talk about also is soya bean. Soya bean I've been highlighting for the last uh, week or so uh, on, on the back of a report. Uh, now, we saw this big push up and then last night we saw a huge sell down of as much as about 6-7%. This came on the back of a uh, USDA or US Department of Agriculture report that suggests that soya bean stocks uh, will probably rise because the yields that farmers are getting uh, per acre is actually better than uh, b b better than expected. Now this sent a lot of traders scrambling, traders who had been in position for a uh, a, a weaker report, which suggests higher prices. Uh, now this may put this potential golden cross into jeopardy. This golden cross down here suggests that uh, a golden cross is when the 50-day moving average cuts above the 20-day moving average, signaling a reversal. Uh, now, corresponding, we see this MAC, MACD or MACD uh, about to cross uh, on, on, on the positive side, reversing. Uh, so, it remains to be seen what will follow from here. It was a big move down last night and we may see some sort of a support uh, on, this, on this support line where, uh, on this, support line where uh, this commodity is concerned. Uh, but clearly, uh, it still remains in play. Uh, one point to note, the commodity remains in a state of backwardation and for that, uh, you are still being protected to some degree by a 20% uh, positive carry on this commodity. Uh, as September futures have also come off and the, the discount is still, is still there. Uh, anyway, just a story that we are following and following up with. Uh, and it remains early uh, in the trading day today. Happy trading.